person to pay attention. Uh, <laughs> Stop talking. <laughs> pretty short words after this. Uh, you know, in, in my hand, uh, in my hands are uh, a petition, an on online petition, that in less than four days I collected almost 1,500 signatures demanding that uh, we have hearings. Uh, hearings uh, on fracking, uh, the issue that uh, continuously uh, uh, is being ignored should be heard. As you can see, uh, this hearing is empty as most of uh, the requests that we've made over the last uh, three months, the request to the Speaker of the House with three letters, uh, the uh, Attorney General with a letter, and uh, the Governor as well, asking them uh, to come out in the open, uh, talk about uh, to us what's going on relative to the ODNR, <coughs> and the issues that are impacting areas all across the Marcellus Utica Shale area, and they're not doing that. I want to know, what are they hiding? What is it so that they have to remain so secret? Why is it that I have to go out and get 1,500 signatures from my constituents asking that we have hearings? And every one of these individuals, uh, it was just a basic uh, uh, request, demand that Ohio legislature have immediate hearings relative to fracking in Ohio. It is not against fracking. And in fact, uh, I'm not opposed to it, but I think that it's imperative that if we're going to do this, that it benefits us to the fullest. Those of us that stand over the top of the Marcellus and Utica shale should be the ones that uh, share uh, in the amount of uh, uh, benefits that it will generate. That's jobs, that's the money, and that's the gas as well. So we don't, we don't, I don't feel comfortable when I have to constantly request through the Ohio, uh, through uh, the Ohio legislature, as a legislator, uh, asking the other uh, branch of government to come to the table to allow us to question the gas and energy, uh, gas uh, and oil energy people in front of our committees. And they continuously hide from this whole process and continuously uh, ignore uh, my, uh, my letters. I'm a legislator. I, I represent 120,000 people. And in that area that I represent, we experienced 11 earthquakes, one that was at four point. That's a serious question, uh, and it begs the, the, the question of how can we make sure that my constituents are protected, that they remain safe, and that we ask the other questions about the chemicals that are, in fact, coming over the state line. Sixty percent of those chemicals, those toxic chemicals, are coming into Ohio, and there's, we have no idea how to regulate it. We have no idea how to uh, make sure that we get the benefits from that, and that we have no idea how to protect uh, our environment, and our constituents. And that's why I'm demanding again that this, legislat that this legislature, the Speaker Batchelder, have immediate hearings. The other part of it is that uh, uh, we're going to talk about what we would like to see in making sure that this extraction, the, the extraction of uh, gas and oil benefits the people of Ohio.